AITA for not wanting to change my first dance song because of my stepsister's association with it. Pretty much what the title says so I'm going to keep it quick. We've chosen our first dance song. My stepsister is not at all happy because she and her ex-husband also had this at their wedding. And she said she has a lot of memories with this particular song. She asked if I could change it. I told her I get it but this is what we want. And I don't want to change it. She said she understood but she's been acting different around me and I could tell she was. Mad, upset. Most people who know about this don't think I'm doing anything wrong. But I had my sister and one of my friends tell me I'm being selfish and not understanding here. AITA? Some people are asking to edit in my comments so here they are. Yes. A few months after they got married he was in a wreck. He thankfully survived but has a very severe TBI. Among other things. He lives in a specialized nursing home. They did get divorced but my sister still goes on about how she loves him and visits him. Occasionally. He doesn't remember who she is most of the time but my sister said she apparently sang this song to him and he looks like he remembers her. Her words. Come what may. From the movie Moulin Rouge. My sister sees it as their song. She and her ex first met at the movies when they both went to watch it. Then apparently the restaurant they went to for their first date was also playing it. So they took it as a sign. And as I said, they also played it at their wedding. She also sings it to him sometimes now. I think it's a really nice song and I'd like to play it too. I don't want to have to change it. YTA for leaving out the detail where her husband had a traumatic brain injury and doesn't recognize her anymore. Under the circumstance, it seems you're purposely trying to hurt her. Do you hate her? YTA. Why would you want to use the song of a divorced couple that you know? You say yourself the song isn't actually important to you. But you outline how it is to her. This is weird. ETA. This is even weirder now that I read your comment about how he's suffering from a TBI and she sings to him to get him to remember her. This is borderline creepy. Have you told your fiancé about this association to the song? Do you even like your stepsister? Yea you can use any song you want. But in this circumstance it seems oddly targeted. This also seems like it would take away from your day and your fiancé while also making your stepsister and potentially other family members uncomfortable. Important missing context summarized from Ops comments. 1. The ex-husband was in an accidental shortly after their wedding where he sustained a traumatic brain injury to the extent that he now lives in a nursing home and does not remember his wife. Though they are technically now divorced the stepsister goes to see him sometimes and will sing this song to him it was playing at a movie the night they met. 2. Op and her partner do not have any personal ties or memories with this song. She just thought it sounded nice. For all of that I'm going with YTA. You picked the song knowing it was their wedding song and you had no ties to it. She is being incredibly gracious in my opinion by keeping to herself when you are in awe because there are plenty of long songs that sound nice. Also because you conveniently left all of this out of your post it's your wedding and all that but honestly with context you just seem cruel. How did the ex become an ex and how recently did that happen? Edit. I knew there was something missing. YTA massively. This is not just a case of him being an ex. Supporting comment. Edit again to add a link to the fantastic comment from you, Squirrel Girl VA. YTA. You left out this part from your op. Which completely changes the gravity of your stepsister's story. You couldn't be any more cruel. If I was your stepsister, I wouldn't come to your wedding and would cut all contact with you. A few months after they got married he was in a wreck. He thankfully survived but has a very severe TBI. Among other things, 
He lives in a specialized nursing home. They did get divorced but my sister still goes on about how she loves him and visits him. Occasionally. He doesn't remember who she is most of the time but my sister said she apparently sang this song to him and he looks like he remembers her. Her words. Quote. YTA. Anyone saying otherwise hasn't heard the full story. You have no attachment to the song. Your stepsister has emotional attachment to the song and still sings it to her ex-husband, whom she is only divorced from because he has brain trauma from an accident and lives in a nursing home. YTA. A huge one. YTA based on the edit. Your sister has a detail. Sad history of this song while you just say. It's a nice one. A bit more compassion would suit you here. You should edit in your comment about the accident and his severe life-altering injuries. Per op comments. Yes. A few months after they got married he was in a wreck. He thankfully survived but has a very severe TBI. Among other things. He lives in a specialized nursing home. They did get divorced but my sister still goes on about how she loves him and visits him. Occasionally. He doesn't remember who she is most of the time but my sister said she apparently sang this song to him and he looks like he remembers her. Her words. YTA. With the further information that you didn't originally include in your op. It's pretty clear you know you're the op. You don't really have a particular emotional attachment to the song. She does. And she does for heartbreaking unimaginable reasons. You just think the song is nice. So yes. Again YTA. Ma'am. I was on your side until I read the edit. People cannot own a song. But why on God's greenish earth would you want to use that song? Even if you just like musicals. There are other songs. It's not just Come What May, and, Cell Block Tango. YTA. I'm surprised anyone is on your side and that your fiancé even agreed to this. YTA. You have no other connection to that song than liking it when you heard it at your sister's wedding. Knowing this and her background story and connection to that song clearly makes you taw in this story. Whatever makes you want to hurt your sister like this. Is it really worth it? What has she done to you that you want to take revenge on her on your wedding day? Was prepared to say NTA based on the main post but finding out that there is no special connection to the song and that you liked it at your sister's wedding now reeks of some kind of weird dynamic. YTA. Edit. Thanks everyone for informing me about the way Reddit reads the posts. It doesn't even sound like a special song to you or your future spouse. I'd lean towards YTA because her reasoning is pretty dang sound and I'm sure there are plenty of really nice song that I'd you'd like to play. I was ready to be on your side until I heard the backstory and what the song is. People can use the same songs and that's fine but that song is an unusual one to use for a wedding. It sounds like you got the idea to use the song from your sister. You should be sensitive to her tragic circumstance. The song is pretty linked to the tragedy here. If she just happened to have the same song at her wedding. That's fine. But this song has a deeper significance. And with this backstory it's kind of sick that you even want to use this song when you have so many options. YTA YTA after reading the your comments I have no clue why you want this as your wedding song. You know it has huge emotional significance to someone else in your life. You know how devastating it will be for her to watch you basically recreate her special moment. While the person she loves doesn't even remember her. Why would you want all this associated with your first dance as a married couple? Would you not at least be thinking of how miserable she is during your dance? And you just want the song because it sounds nice? It feels almost spiteful is there some info you're leaving out here? 
When I read why her husband and her are divorced, my mouth dropped open. YTA Enough people telling you YTA. Have you stopped to think that the reason you think it's a nice song is because you were introduced to it by your sister? Maybe at her wedding. That that's why you have a positive association with it. It's super meaningful and emotional and now painful for her. You just think it's nice. So yes YTA. Pick another song. One that's special to you and your fiancé. There are a lot of nice songs out there. You're being stubborn and hurting your sister for a song that you think is nice. Come on now. Info why did you pick this song other than, it's a nice song. Info, did you pick this song knowing it was played at her wedding with her ex? I was fully prepared to say that your sis will need to power through these few minutes. But now that you've added info and admitted that it's basically just some song you like. YTA big time. Find another song you like then. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.